Hey, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to add web apps to the macOS 10 dock. And, um, well, I've shown you how to do it in Ubuntu 12 before last year. And, well, it's basically the same thing, except that we're not having to rely on Chrome to be running. So we're not actually creating a, a Chrome sub window, so to speak. We're really creating a separate dog app, so to speak. The app we're going to use to create these web apps is Fluid App. Um, it's available for free. Simply go to fluidapp.com. I'll put the link in the description of the video below. And um, well, it offers a um, pro version, so to speak, for $4.99, which offers some great further features. But well, the Free download is probably gonna be enough for you. So we're simply gonna, well, I already downloaded, downloaded it, but we're simply gonna download it and then we're gonna install it. And when you open it, um, it's gonna look like this. And so you got these fields for URL and name and location and icon. And what this means is, well, it's rather self-explanatory, right? You, you put in the URL of the website, let's say, um, we like lifehacker.com. There we go. And instead of having to tap to Chrome or Safari or whatever browser you use, and then look for the tab on top of, of, of here and look for the, the page, we simply want to go to to the, the lifehacker website by command tab or well, however you change your apps by clicking on the dog icon. Uh, and in order to do that, we're going to create a dog icon, we simply put it here, and we're going to give it the title Lifehacker. Well, it's an app, so we're going to put it in the location applications, and well, the default option is to use the website Fav icon, which is this one, um, which is the same you get when you bookmark a page. But, well, it's not always the highest resolution, and you may want to specify an icon that you download it for yourself or create it or whatever. And um, well, we're going to go ahead and create it. It won't take long, maybe a couple seconds. Here we go. And um, well, let's just launch the app. And um, well, another good thing is um, that the window now it remembers at what size you had it and what exact sub-page you were on. So if we go to another article here, we're not on the start page anymore, it's just a random article, and um, uh, let's just close it, keep it in the dog, and, well, we open it, um, and we're at the same place, and therefore, well, we can pick up where we left. And some of these web apps like Google Mail or Facebook, like this one here, um, it even features a little badge icon here for your number of notifications, new mails, messages, and stuff. You know? And, um, well, that's basically it. You can put it, keep it in dock, and um, use it however you want. 